Oh my god another sad news. American retired tennis player Julie Diddy's cause of death has been clarified after she reportedly passed away on Tuesday evening, August 31, 2021, at the age of 42. May she rest in power. The heartbreaking news has been confirmed by Ashland Tennis Center in a statement on Facebook, reading, The Ashland Tennis Com 90 lost a true tennis legend this evening. She had her WTA Tour breakthrough when she reached the semifinals of the Bell Challenge. It took her into the top 100 for the first time in her career, on November 5, 2007, at No. She beat Alizé Cornet and Vania King before losing to Julia Vakulenko in three sets. In 2007, she was selected by the Boston Lobsters of the WTT Pro League. In 2008, Diddy qualified for the Open Gaz de France tournament in Paris, where she fell to the no. 6 seed and ex world number 1, Amelie Moresmo. She was elected to the United States Fed Cup team for their match in February against Argentina after Bethany Matek departed with an injury. She starred doubles with Lizelle Huber, winning the final match for the U.S. team. Former Vanderbilt All-American and WTA Top 90, Julie was born on January 4, 1979, in Atlanta, Georgia, living in Ashland, Kentucky. Her height was about 1.68 m, 5 feet 6 in. In June 2014, Diddy appeared from retirement and caused the Team Kentucky to win a decisive Southern Senior Cup Women's 35 and over division. She followed this up by winning the U.S. Open National Playoff Tournament for the Southern Section. According to the Facebook post, Julie Diddy's cause of death has been reported as cancer. It read, Julie Diddy Qualls fought a courageous battle with cancer as she was a champion both on and on the court. Much love and prayers to the Diddy family. May you find comfort in this heartbreaking loss. Julie was a wonderful person and will be missed by many. World Information Channel team is searching to find more related information and provide the latest updates as soon as possible. Please subscribe my channel and post comments.